Hey everybody, it's Maya Chanel and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and for everyone who is new, we are happy to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with all my videos. So if you don't know, my channel is mostly based on me as a young woman in business, a fresh start on entrepreneurship, just starting a business, and just kind of documenting my journey and letting people know what I have gone through from beginning to wherever this journey takes me. So the things that I've learned, the mistakes that I've gone through, and different things that I've been able to fix and notice while I'm on this journey and just learning every day because being an entrepreneur every day is a learning process. You have to learn how to do everything, especially in, in this beginning stages, unless you have the capital to do so and hire other people, you will be doing a lot of things on your own. I officially launched October 1st, 2019. Basically, here's everything you need to know to get started on a business in the year of 2020. First things first, what's your purpose? You have to know your pur purpose to build a brand or build a product. A product doesn't necessarily just come off of, oh, let me just do that. A pro Usually the best brands come off of something that you're passionate about, something that you see a need for in your life as well as others. So what I had to do, it took me, I know I want to be a business owner, but it took me years to figure out what I actually want to do. This is not my first go around at being a business owner because I've had different little things that I've done as in the entrepreneurship world prior to my company now, Fire Drip. And I've learned along the way that you just have to do what you're passionate about. If you don't do what you're passionate about, you're not gonna put the needed and necessary energy into it that it needs to be to get it and scale it to where you want to be or to continue progressing in a sense because Entrepreneurship is not something that you easily give up on. It's something that you have to stay consistent with, even when you're not seeing results. There was this quote that I saw um, on Instagram that sat very well with me. The quote says, never let a zero dollar situation distract you from a billion dollar plan. So with that said, I want to say, with entrepreneurship, you have to be consistent. You have to ignore the fact that you may not be where you want to be and it may not get you there in the time frame that you have in your head, but you have to stay consistent because it's just like those memes that show you that person that is like digging for gold and then that one person that's just right there and they give up right before they get there. So if you're really passionate about it, of course, you have to stay consistent with it, stay on top of it, stay researching, stay improving on your craft because it's, if it's really what you wanna do, then that's what you will be doing. So after I figured out what I wanted to do because I've always been passionate in fitness, it's just like something that's, you know, very important in my life, especially in the United States where we have such high cases of obesity and heart disease and all of these things going on with our body, fitness is the way to go. So I wanted a brand that spoke more than just clothing. I wanted a brand that spoke more on my beliefs and my purpose I felt would be in this world. So as an entrepreneur, I feel we all have a purpose in this world and our businesses all serve a different purpose. It's what we bring forth and a successful business I would say is one that gets their message across effectively so that's where marketing comes in and you have to be creative in getting the best message out per se. it's just like using your words wisely to make people more interested in what you have to say it's putting a creative spin on the bigger problem that you are trying to solve so We've talked about determining your purpose so that you can build your brand or build the concept of your brand. And then we've talked about how to get your message across effectively through marketing. And marketing is not just something that, it's not the easiest thing because you have to constantly look for different platforms, look for different avenues, look at what's new and what's trending to be able to get your message across. The same tactics that worked maybe 
two, three years ago aren't gonna be the same tactics that work for you in today's society because things are constantly evolving, things are constantly changing, and you have to keep up with everything that is moving. And like, you're trying to build and trying to move with the times as well. It's one of the hardest things I would have to say, but it is achievable. Um, what you can do is you can, YouTube is a very helpful source. Those people who know what they're talking about in these different fields, they post videos about literally everything. And you can use YouTube to literally build your business. And here's how. For me personally, I'd say my hardest challenge has been just keeping up with everything because in the beginning stages of entrepreneurship, like I said, you're doing everything. You are your website manager. You are your marketer. You are the person who's fulfilling these orders. You are literally running everything, keeping your books in line. And that is really important too. You have to make sure you're keeping your numbers so that you know where you're going. Keep track of what you're spending and what you're bringing in because at the end of the day, that's going to determine your evaluation. Now, if you watch Shark Tank, they want to know your evaluation of your business. So keep track of your numbers from day one on everything that you spend for your business and how you are allocating your funds and make sure if you can pay yourself because that's important. If you're going to be doing all this work, you want to be able to pay yourself and also be able to put your money back into your company as well to constantly improve it, constantly build upon it. So other ways to use YouTube to build your business are looking to see new things that are out there, new strategies. You have people doing how-to videos on exactly how to set certain things up, like advertisements. They have videos on there showing you exactly how you should be setting your advertisements up, exactly how you should be taking the angle of a photograph of your product. Like, there's so many resources out there that you would never be done researching, I'll tell you that. Like, Never, because there's so much to learn. I mean, even when you think you know everything, there's even more for you to learn next day because there's constantly something new coming out and you have to keep up with everything. So until you're able to allocate that to different people, then you're gonna have to be the person that's doing all of that. So I know that a lot of people have asked me how was it when I started my business? What did I do? And how did I come up with my idea of what I wanted to do? How did I come up with my name? And here it is. So first things first is I know I wanted a fitness brand because I was so deeply involved in fitness. It was just everyone was calling me the fitness girl. So might as well have made something out of it and got my message across because it was something that I was so passionate about. Now, when it came to the name, I had maybe four or five different names before I came up with the name Fire Drip. And let's say it did not come overnight. I mean, it was probably a year or two before I even came up with the name that I wanted to use. So that just tells you right there, it may not be that long for some people, but when it came across, when I heard the name I know I was like, that one, that's it, that's it. That's the one I gotta use. So I went ahead with that name. And then from there, I was able to, you know, I used YouTube to find out how to get manufacturers and how to contact these manufacturers and where to go and different things like that. Like I found manufacturers, I ordered samples, I wanted to see what I wanted to get, what was the new best thing. I had designers design different sets for me. There was a whole lot going on. It's important to test your website. So I sat there and I did that before I even launched. So before I even launched, I had to come up with my name, come up with a logo, come up with merchandise. I had to build a website. I had to test the website. I had to create social pages for it. And then um, I began promoting it, I believe two weeks before I launched. Um, I could have promoted it longer than that, but I wanted to promote it to before I launched on October 1st. And from there, I just was constantly learning the social media game of an online store. I was learning 
how to completely des design my website so that it was more appealing and just easier to navigate for the customer. So I did that. I also created ads to get my name out there, have my Facebook page. I was able to, you know, get more people to like my page, get more people to recognize my brand and things like that. So in today's life, what am I doing? I'm still getting my name out there. I feel like the first year, two, maybe three, you're just constantly trying to get people to understand your name, understand your brand, understand your purpose. So. Um, with that being said, what am I doing to improve on all of that? I'm using YouTube. I'm using YouTube to understand how all of these things work, the different avenues that I need to look into to get my brand out there more. More research in my niche and just understanding who my target audience is, who is going to purchase my brand, who is going to be ambassadors for my brand and things of that sort. So it's just still a lot of learning to do in the early stages of your business. Um, every business is not the same. So I'm telling you, there's like literally YouTube videos for everything out there. Like, I don't know how many people there are on YouTube, but there's people creating content every day. So for mine, I just want to bring a little light on here just to say that it's okay if you don't know everything in the beginning. It's okay if it's frustrating. It's okay if you're feeling burnt out, but I mean, sometimes you just gotta take a break to just come back with a fresh mind, fresh thoughts, fresh energy, and just enjoy your journey. Like that, I feel like that's the best part because this is the part that you're gonna look back on and you're going to enjoy building. You're going to enjoy something being crafted and someone understanding your purpose and your journey and how you were able to build something from the ground up to that you can be proud of. So it's not how quickly you get to your definition of success um, in your business. It's about building a brand that lasts. It's about building something that can be for generations or if you don't want to build something that, or you just want something that's gonna be quick money, then there's videos for that too. So I, for me, I personally want to build something that can last for generations within my family and that can lead to other streams of income, lead to other avenues, lead to a bigger world than it is now. So here's my journey. I hope you enjoy it and I can't wait to share more content with you. Make sure you check out my personal branding series on how I am really reshaping my entire personal branding where I'm reshaping my wardrobe and just understanding who I am as a person. And that's a big part of building a business. You gotta understand who you are and what you want and what direction you're trying to go in and what life you want for yourself. So that's a big part of being a business owner, entrepreneur, or anything in this life. So make sure you check out my personal branding series and stay tuned for more videos on my journey as a woman in entrepreneurship. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.